now it's time to connect with MongoDB. And in order to do that, we would like to use Mongoose as I showed in the introduction. So I will just uh, begin with uh, installing Mongoose. So I will have to go to my server, to my source, and then to my server. And here I would like to npm install mongoose and I would like to save this in my package JSON so I add that save and as we can see here in my package JSON we now have mongoose installed as we can see here so now we can just use it and I'll just do some house cleaning up here so instead I do like this and then mongoose equals require mongoose and I think I'll just delete this and just clean up a bit and um, now when we have uh, mongoose um, required we can uh, we can connect with the database so I would like to create a database and I will call this uh, uh, name. It would be Angular underscore MongoDB. I haven't in, I haven't created this database yet, but when I begin to use it, it will be created in MongoDB automatically. So down here, just after the routing has been set up, I would like to uh, connect with my mongoose. So I will use mongoose connect to connect with MongoDB, my local hosts that host my uh, Mongo, and then I could just add my database name. Uh, when I have made a connection, I would like to um, use it then, or oh, actually this is only the setup of the connection, now I will just instantiate it. So I will make a variable named DB, and I will use my uh, Mongoose to get the connection. So uh, now I can uh, use the promises uh, or events that when this uh, this database, hopefully not, has uh, an error. Um, oh, sorry. On error, then I'll just like to console log it. So it will be console error. And when hopefully most of the time it goes okay we have an open connection then we can um, use an anonymous function with the error and then uh, specify what to do but as usual when we use a node this is done asynchronously that means this will run in the background and then it will just after it just started this uh, event it will go down here um, and execute this. So that means the server will be started before the database actually is open. So instead of doing that, I could just take this code up here, but I think I'll make a, a name function for this instead. And I will call this start server. So whenever I'm ready, I would like to start the server. So down here I'll make a function. And this function I will call start server. And um, this will then hold the same code as before. So let's have a look, see if it uh, works. So I'll boot up my terminal and uh, then I will start gulp and see if it's working. No, we have an error actually. Um, it failed to connect to localhost uh, 27017 and that's because I haven't started it yet so I'll just start mongo daemon so let's have a look here if I just refresh this one and see in my terminal um, it didn't succeed because I have no connection so I think I'll just have to um, go and now I have Nogmon running so it will monitor my 
files. So if I just go here and make a space and delete it again and save this one, you can see now it's it runs. It uh, it's listening on port 3000. So let's have a look here in the browser. Now it works. So now it it there's connection with my Mongo, but still we are displaying the, uh, the local. That means these data we have here in our products file. So um, let's uh, let's put some data into our um, our database, and I just pre-made um, a small script for that. This one um, I'll not go through this. I'll put it on GitHub so you can just uh, take it to use it as yours. Uh, but it does uh, the thing that uh, it deletes the products that might be in the, in the database and then just insert one product, uh, as we can see here. I will come back to how to use schemas and models in the next video. So I'll go and uh, and run this. Uh, I think uh, I have to uh, take this code and add it to my server here. And here I'll just save this file and call it data init.js. And inside here I'll just paste this code. So I can just close this one and um, save this. And then I will go here to my note. And um, in here I'll just make a new tab. And um, inside my source and inside my server, I would like to run. Uh, this called data in it js so when I run this uh, nothing happens because it doesn't do anything here it doesn't have a response so uh, it will just uh, run this uh, this script and then wait for anything to happen but let's have a look here um, we can see uh, there has been made some connections uh, and they have been closed and then uh, I would like to see if uh, if I have anything in my uh, in my database, so I'll just show my databases, and I have one called uh, Angular underscore MongoDB, and uh, here I like to see the collections, and as we can see, we have a collection called products, so I will say products dot find and dot pretty. As we can see, it had it, it had inserted this one this object that I expected uh, with the name and price and so on. So now we have some uh, products in our uh, mongoose or in our mongodb. Now we just have to use it. 